Hi everyone, Michael back with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an approval process in Power Automate. If you aren't subscribed, feel free to subscribe. I make Power Automate, Power Apps, SharePoint, and Teams videos. All right, so let's get into it. So to create an approval process in Power Automate is pretty easy. In my example, I'm going to be doing using a SharePoint list. So when a new item is created in my marketing SharePoint, uh, I'm doing projects here. So when a new project is submitted, I want it to send it to the manager and the manager is either gonna say, let's put it in progress or let's put it on hold. So let's go into Power Automate and let's go to create. So this will be an automated cloud flow. Flow name, let's do approval process for new projects. And my trigger is going to be when an item is created. So that's gonna be when the item is created in the SharePoint list. Go ahead and click on create. All right, so uh, first step, enter in the site address. This is pretty, pretty simple. And it is the marketing projects 2022, which is right here. Next step, so we will search for approval. So when the item is created after the creation, I want to start an approval. And for this one, I'm going to do start and wait for an approval. So with this step, it's actually going to keep running the flow until someone actually says, hey, I approve this, or if the group approves it. So that's the only downside of using this, is the flow is going to be continuously running. So I'd use this for small purposes. Uh, and for my approval type, I want to just do first to respond because I'm only sending it to one person, the manager. So the title, let's do a new project submission. And then I'm going to use dynamic content to get, let me look at my SharePoint list, the project title. So that is actually the title field because if you hover over it, you can see you get these extra options. So that's the title. So we will use that assigned to, I want to, I'm going to put in my email address. All right, I got my email address right here. So that would be my manager uh, details. I will just do the project description for this. And you can probably add text as well. The item link, I believe this is in the dynamic content. So link to an item right here. And item link description, we're just gonna leave that blank. And then there's a few extra options if you wanna do this. You can enable notifications, enable reassignments. So if this approval gets sent to the wrong person, um, that person be able to reassign it to another user, but we will keep those on yes for now. Uh, you can do whatever you want. All right, let's do a control statement. And I want to do a condition on the dynamic content. I want to grab the outcome. And this is going to be equal to, so if the outcome is approve, it's going to be approve. Um, it's not going to be approved, it's going to be approved. So if that is true, I want to update my SharePoint item to show that it is actually in progress because when it's created, it is set to, hold on. It is actually set to created. So let's do an update item in my SharePoint. It'll ask for the site address. It's going to be the same list and the id is going to be when an item is created id because it's going to use the same item so the title um this is required so you just have to re-enter it again it's not going to change but the project status is actually going to change and i want to put this to in progress and then i also want to send an email to the user, just letting them know the status of the project, if the manager accepted or declined it. So we want to get add a dynamic content. I want to send whoever created the item. Do you see when an item is created, you have a created by email right here. So that's the email address of the user that created that. A new project status. So let me do the title. So let's say, Beach Party 2022 is now 
and we will do the project status failure. So it will say new project status, beach party is now in progress. Hi, we have decided to move forward on the project and I'll just include the title again. Thanks, Michael. All right, so that's all set. And basically if no, it's gonna be the same as this side, but we want to set it to on hold. So update item, when an item is created, I want the ID. Just re-enter the title because it's a required field. And let's set the project status to on hold. And then it's just gonna be the same email, but I'm just gonna say, hey, um, the project's been delayed or on hold. So let me look at this. So we want the created by email. New project status on hold. Thanks. Michael, all right, so this looks good. Everything looks all right. So let's go ahead and save this. So let's go ahead and create a new project. Project title, let's do um, Christmas party 2022, party for staff celebrating Christmas. Project date, let's do, let's actually do a real date, let's do, um, We'll do the 17th contact name. We'll put um, Ryan Green for it. And we'll set the project status to create it. Save. All right, so since the new item was created, it should activate our flow. And if there's no lag, it should appear soon. Okay, so it looks like the flow is running. And as you can see, since I chose a start and wait for an approval. It's still going to run until I actually choose something. So let's check my email. It doesn't appear that my approvals are being sent to the right email. So I think this approval went to the wrong account. So let me redo this and just double check. Assign to, no, that email's correct. Maybe, the semicolon's throwing it off because I should receive a notifi notification in Teams and my email as well. So we're just gonna remove the semicolon even though I'm not sure if that's, that's what it was, but never hurts to check. So we'll just run the flow again using the previous case and see if that actually works. Okay, so I'll leave the troubleshooting in here. So as you can see, we the semicolon, if that's what it's called, actually threw it off. So we got the notification in Teams. As you can see, there's an approval tab right here. So a new project submission, Christmas Party 2022, Party for Celebrating, Staff Celebrating Christmas. And as you can see, we have all the details and I can cancel request, follow up or assign, but I'm actually going to approve this request. So let's go ahead and approve. Okay, something went wrong. Wait a bit and try again. So let me try that again. Approve, submitting a response. Okay, it's set to approve, so that's okay. And as you can see, we got um, the email, but since I approved it in Teams, the email automatically updated, say, hey, you are completed the request. And as you can see, we finally got the email saying, hi, we have decided to move forward on the project Christmas Party 2022. Thanks, Michael. And the title works. So let's go back to the flow. And as you can see, since I approved everything, the flow ran successfully and the test succeeded. And I'm just going to cancel this one. So it stops the flow from running because that will run pretty much forever. Or actually, there's a time period it runs for. I think it's like, 14 or 30 days. So as, you, as you can see, the Christmas party 2022 has been changed from created to in progress. And if we check the history, created, and now it's in progress. And that's a simple approval. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's a simple approval process. And there's tons of use cases you can do. If you like the video, feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you have any video ideas, leave them in the comments. And I will catch you in the next one.